good day welcome to garden city university college uh, we need video i'll be introducing you to the main two main applications you'll be using whilst in garden city university college so let's go to our browser all right so to access these applications we visit the address apps dot gcc gcc dot edu dot gh okay apps apps dot gcc dot edu dot gh so when i go to this page okay so i'm presented to three items here the first one is the student portal where you do your course registration uh, for the semester the techniques you have to register every semester then you can make your fee payment and also check your results academic results the next is the virtual classroom where you take assessments submit assignments access your course materials and course resources per each lecture okay then prospective students is for new applicants so let me first take you through the student portal so when i click on it it opens for me and as you can read here enter your index number has username and index number has password okay so that's what you do you enter your index number as username and the index number as password that is that um for this video i'll be stressing more on the all right so we click on virtual classroom it opens for us okay so per the instruction you are required to enter your user index number as username and the default password provided here as your password and as a first time user you are required to change the password to your own password for security and privacy so my index number is and my password is capital p small a five five see yes change password so current password is the um, default password and then I'll enter my own password now repeat again and save changes password has been changed that is it once logged in i can see my courses courses have been assigned to for the semester now please take notes um we have the dashboard home events my courses so my courses list the courses you've been assigned or enrolled on to for the semester so every semester it will change so the current semester courses will show when you move to the next semester those courses will disappear for new courses to show um, you have events there if a lecturer or lecturers have uh, set up quizzes and assign assignments you're supposed to uh, submit it will all show them so as you can see i have my events showing upcoming events i have my courses showing here so assuming I want to access training GCUC, this is the course I want to access. So I'll click on it. All right, so I'm logged in. Um, I'm, I've opened my course page. You can see it gives me, it introduced me to the lecturer, the lecturer name, email, contacts, location. Okay, and this is insertion information from the lecturer, course outline, test book. Uh, video is an a video, so let me click on the video and see what video it is. Okay, this is an introductory video for me. That's nice. 
um, so basically every information here or information completed here is supposed to be done by the lecturer so when you don't see anything they don't call the IT that um, is not showing the lecturer's responsibility the lecturer has to uh, upload the course materials beats lecture notes um, handouts all your resources you need to be here by the lecturer so this lecturer um, has a quiz has a quiz and also an assignment okay the quiz is due 26 january 2023 let's open it and see so when i open it it says attempts allowed one quiz not available on thursday 26 january 11 16 and my current time is 11 15. okay that's why you see over here nothing should be says back to course um quiz will close the same day at 8 16 p.m and the time limit is 10 minutes and the quiz is currently not available what this means is it's opening at 11 15 a.m ending at 8 16 p.m and once i start my quiz i have 10 minutes to take the quiz now assuming i wait till 8 6 oh no 8 10 assuming i have wait till 8 10 p.m to take this quiz that means that when i start at 8 10 I don't have 10 minutes to, I have minus 4, because this closes at 8.16. So I should make sure I am there and have enough time to take it. Then when you have challenges, you can now contact the lecturer for help or IT for help. You don't wait till last minute, then you jump into it, and when you have challenge and time is up, to be difficult to assist you so please do well to assess it when it's time okay now 11 16 my time is 11 17 a.m that means i can do it. so what i do is i'll refresh the page okay so we'll refresh this page so you have it when i right click i have to reload current page or you use the top here let me just refresh it good so when i refresh it you see it comes attempt quiz now that is if I'm ready to take the quiz. Yes, I'm ready to take the quiz. So let me attempt it. Ah, the quiz has a time limit of 10 minutes. Time will count down for moment you start your attempt and you must submit before it expires. Are you sure that you wish to start now? Start attempt. Yes, I want to take the quiz now. Ah, so this is how it comes. So I have my question number. I have the mark for each question and I have flag question. So and to my navigation i have the number of questions which is five and then the time so it is counting down okay so i have nine minutes 30 something seconds to take this quiz now first question covid is caused by a virus that is true assuming i have a problem with this question i want to come back to it i can flag it but take notes certain lecturers would set the quiz such that you can't go back once you move from a question you continue you cannot go back so it depends on the lecturer so when you flag it it, it wouldn't uh, you can't go back to it me flagging it means i want to come back to this question or i've noticed a problem with this question so i'm flagging it so i'll come back to it okay but like i said lecture might make it sequential such so that you can't go back to a question once you've attempted it so i'll move to the next question which country first discovered COVID? So let's pick China. Next. Which first uh, is the same question? So let's give it another answer. So let's in Germany. GCC has two faculties. That is false. We have two, three faculties. Who is the founder of GCC? Okay, Mr. David Kwati, Mr. Albert Akwa, this is Mr. Albert Yes, so once I'm done, uh, my time is eight minutes. I still have more time, but I'm done. So I will just say finish attempt. 
Okay, so over here, summary of attempts. There were five questions. And it shows here answer saved, answer saved, answer saved, answer saved. So all these answers have been saved to the server. So all I have to do is submit all and finish. Yes, yeah, submit all and finish. Voila. So you see it here finished, submitted Thursday, 11 20 a.m. The final grade for this quiz is four out of five. So that's what I have. And take notes, Electra might choose not to allow you to see the score. All you see is um, you have finished. So Electra can choose to let you see, and another Electra might choose not to let you see. So um, just note that. Then when you are taking the quiz and you have the network challenge is submit or you don't submit it yourself do well to go back to the quiz and make sure it has submitted there are times it will not submit it will be pending okay that means when electra checks from his side the quiz will still show pending even though the time is up all you need to do is whenever or what you have to do is whenever you take a quiz you didn't submit yourself you had a network challenge or your phone went off your device went off even though you know your time is up just go back to the quiz and confirm that finished submitted see that day okay see it there finished submitted the date you need to have that showing Okay, all right. So we are done with the quiz. So let's go back to our main page. Now we want to attend to assignments. Okay, we have an assignment to submit. So I'll click on the assignment. So assignment one. Okay, so this is the assignment question. I will click on it. Yes, yeah, so the question is here. I can open it and work on it. Now, attempt number. This is attempted. This is attempt one. Submission status, no attempts. Okay. Uh, due date, Thursday 26 at 11.55. So, oh, I have some few minutes to submit. Okay. I have some time to submit. Okay, PM. So I have 12 hours, 32 minutes to submit. So what do I want to do? I want to submit my assignment. So what I need to do is click on Add Submission. So the Add Submission interface opens for me. Either I, if I'm using my laptop, I can just drag my assignment. So this is my assignment. I can just drag it and drop it in here. If I'm using my phone or still a laptop, I can also use the file picker. So the first one here is the file picker. Okay, so I can just click on the file picker. Yes, yeah, so upload the file. I'll browse for the file. So my file is on desktop and it is a nursing web document, new web document. So I'll select that. Yes upload uh, it's empty okay let me upload a different document so i'll close this and start the process all over click here browse um so let's go with this this is open upload wow successfully uploaded so what do i do save changes yes so submitted for grading okay so i've submitted successfully submitted my um assignment um uh, depending on the lecturer the lecturer can give you the chance to undo what you've done okay you can edit your assignments um change it and then upload a new one and a lecturer might not allow you to do that. So please, whenever you are submitting an assignment, make sure you are doing the right thing. Okay? You can also optionally remove it. But like I said, it depends on the lecturer. Mm -hmm. A lecturer might not give you that option. So you see that I tried removing it, but it didn't allow me. Okay? That means attempt, attempt is only one. 
so I cannot change it anymore. Okay. So let's do this again. So like I said, the lecture might just give you one attempt, meaning once you upload, you cannot go back. You cannot go back. You cannot undo to make sure you are submitting the right documents. Now, once I'm done with this, okay, so it's just your assignment submitted in January 2023, attempted 26 January 2023. This is the quiz, okay? So this is the quiz I attempted. When I try going back to it, it tells me I've already attempted the quiz, okay? So no more attempts allowed. All right. So that is that for today. Um, okay. So like I said, your lecturer is the one supposed to uh, upload this course contents, not the IT unit. We come to help. We are there to help the lecturer. So whenever the lecturer um, involves us, then we can assist. But apart from that, any issues you have, you can communicate to your classroom to your lecturer or to your lecturer directly. Um, so that is that. Wish you the best. Bye-bye.